What's up everybody, Robin Phillips here, founder of Agent Bacon, where we have simple systems to help you bring home the bacon. So this process really came about because I have all of these systems and tools in order to follow up with my clients for years. So when they're ready to buy a home, I am right there to sell it to them. Well, one day I open up my text messages and there's this person who's like, hey Robin, I'm so excited. I just wanted to share with you that I bought a home here in Charleston. And I'm like, but not with me as your agent. After all of these homes I've showed you, after all the times you've been to Charleston, after all the conversations on the phone and you go buy a home with someone else or from the seller. So I said, you know what? I have got to create a near foolproof process so that this never happens again. So 10 years later, I've been using this process and it helps me sign clients 95% of the time. And it's really not awkward at all. Sometimes that, that agent feels like it's so high pressure and they've got to pressure this person into it and you, and you really don't. So let me show you how I do it and let's dive in. Part one is the pre-appointment packet. So the pre-appointment packet is emailed to your buyer prior to the in-person appointment. And let me remind you, it is not your buyer presentation. So there are four different sections to this packet. Section one, position yourself as the professional and the expert. Section two, show them why they need an agent to guide them and protect them through the home buying process. Section number three, talk to them about money and answer their burning question, what does a buyer agent cost? And number four, review your commitment to them for superior service. So the first page of the pre-appointment packet is a short biography. I always use my headshot, the same that they've seen everywhere else online. And I try to not only hit the high points of my real estate career, but also talk a little bit about who I was before real estate. And um, just like many other people in real estate, I had a corporate job. I uh, had great success before I transitioned to real estate. So if you have any of those characteristics, or even if you're new to real estate and you don't have a lot of real estate experience to put in that bio, make sure you add in your successes in other job industries prior to real estate. Uh, make sure to add in there a little bit about your family, where you're from. You never know where you could connect with somebody on an emotional or family level, as well as showing that you're an expert and a professional. So the next page is a little bit about my company and my husband and I have the Robin Group. We really formed a very clear vision of our company up front and I'm going to read you some of it so you get an idea of why this is so important to the client to include something like this. It really makes it clear to them how you run your business and who you are as a business owner. So it says integrity, passion, persistence, innovation everybody's got all that stuff come up with something right our mission is to change lives through home ownership and wealth building our vision is to live a life without limits our perspective the robin group is a client-centered company we understand that moving is an emotional process and all of our clients are treated like family we provide outstanding customer service in truly understanding each of our clients unique needs and dreams then providing comprehensive expert advice in all areas of real estate. We create clients for life by hand carrying each transaction from start to finish and communicating every step of the way. I literally read that to my clients during the buyer presentation, but I also send this clearly to them in that pre appointment packet. It also contains a number of beliefs that we hold dear to us in the company. I'll only read a few. It says desire plus commitment equals success. There is always a way. No transaction is worth our reputation. In the world of great, we must be excellent. We do what we say we are going to do, and there are no surprises in our transactions. There are more, but I think it's entirely important to make sure that these people understand the type of person that you are and what your value system is. So everybody wants to work with someone that they know, like, and trust, which is why people 
work with their family members to buy a home when that family member has never even sold a home before. So that trust piece is huge. So the next piece of information I put into this packet is what I call my brag sheet. And it doesn't say that at the top, but it is some statistics about what kind of experience they're going to have with me as a real estate professional. So it says, I'm in the top 5% of realtors here in Charleston, number one office for closings, featured in Top Agent Magazine, featured in Real Producers Magazine, any accolades that you have, all of that's important to put in there. Why choose the Robin Group? Now this has my closing statistics, meaning that I get buyers a better deal when they purchase a home with me versus purchasing a home with another agent. And I track those statistics. If you don't have those statistics or you've not tracked those statistics to date, then use something from your office, use something from your team lead, your mentor, another agent you're in business with that is willing to lend you those statistics because you partner with them in being able to help sell that property to that buyer. Whatever it is that you can come up with some kind of statistics that show that you either are or connected with people that are truly able to get you a better deal on a home through negotiation skills, through experience with seller concessions, through loan programs. It really makes a difference in that buyer understanding that working with you will actually save them money versus working with another agent. And then I throw in their testimonials. I mean pages and pages and pages and pages of them. They are not going to read them all. The purpose is that you want them to see how many people are saying nice things about you. Again, if you don't have your own testimonials, then use ones from your office, use ones from your mentor. Just make sure it's legitimately somebody that you are going to be in business with who is going to be helping you. But this really solidifies your expertise in the market and your professionalism. And who doesn't like a great five-star review? So the next page I put in is an entire page dedicated to why the pre-approval is so important to the buyer. And even in the pre-appointment packet, we want to point out to that buyer that getting the pre-approval gives them confidence, gives their offer strength. They could get approved through underwriting and even become a cash buyer. But most importantly, it's that peace of mind that they know exactly what monthly payment they're going to be paying for the home that they're buying. That peace of mind is worth everything, and it solidifies you as the professional that is going to guide them through the process. The next page in the packet is all about why it is so important to have an agent help guide you through this process. And the way it's titled is how to have a successful home purchase. And it outlines all of the pieces that we are juggling as agents. For example, the home inspectors, the lenders, the attorneys, the negotiation process, the repair process. It talks to them about how important it is to make sure that they get great quotes for these repairs. How are they gonna get their repairs done? So really it shows them the value of working with an agent versus trying to do all of these things on their own. So the next page I put in, it allays their fears about what a buyer agent costs. And yes, it's great that the seller pays for all or most of our fees, but this page is most importantly telling them that we can represent them on a for sale by owner transaction, that we can represent them in new construction because we don't want them to find their dream home that's not listed in the MLS and think that it's going to cost them something. So I really love going over this sheet with them and telling them some really good stories, um, normally horror stories, <laughs> about what's happened in the past so that they can understand how important it is to keep us involved no matter who is the seller. So last and most importantly, I put in there a page called My Commitment to You. So really the stigma with real estate agents, at least what I am hearing, is that you know they sign a listing agreement or a buyer agreement and then they just like drop off the face of the earth and that client really like never hears from their agent. So um, really this commitment sheet is all about communication, the fact that I want them to be a client for life. Why? This is not just one transaction. I want to sell them this home and then I want to 
list the home when they want to move and that I want to help their children and their parents and you know everybody that moves to Charleston that wants to be with them and this is all really important to helping that buyer client know that this is not one and done. This is not something where if it goes wrong, I'm gonna hide in a corner and disappear. That this is about us doing it together and that I'm in it for the long haul. I'll be here during the transaction and after. This last piece of information, I think, is really the wrap up, the bow on the package where that buyer client, after reading this piece of paper prior to that appointment, is excited to meet with me. They understand that I am a professional and most importantly, they understand that I am there for them. Because realistically, no one cares how much you know until they know how much you care. So this pre-buyer packet emailed to the client prior to your buyer appointment will make all the difference in introducing you as a professional, as an expert in the market, someone who has outlined the steps in the real estate transaction, and in the end, told that buyer that it's all about them and you are committed to them finding a fantastic house. So good luck, guys.